Hi everyone, welcome back. This is uh, another, I guess, episode, I don't really know, of K-Pops with me, Bex. I don't, don't really know what title to give my channel, but that's where we're gonna go with for right now. Anyways, what I have here is a Miyokyo haul. This is actually my first package that I've gotten from them. I have ordered from Akari Japan before, just with a different service, um, and I do plan to kind of like outline the services that I have used or like the more popular ones, just because I know that that would be really popular. Um, because a lot of people question, because there's so many out there and they're getting so, so popular to use. But um, I did a group order, so not everything in this box is actually mine. Um, a lot of it belongs to other people, and this is already starting out to be really interesting because the other service that I used, Hoyoyo, they did not put everything in packaging like this with the big bow wrap. They kind of just put everything in the box, but I also, um, I do not remember what shipping method I chose. Oh, they have everything taped in here. That's pretty cool. I do not remember which, or not shipping, packing method I chose. So, um, I could have chosen protective packaging and I wouldn't know. Um, but I know with Toyoyo, since I've always gotten like really big, heavy things, I've gotten a lot of DVDs and stuff from them. I have usually gotten the cheapest method for everything. Um, so I'm not really sure what I paid for this, but, uh, altogether the shipping was $80. So split between me and the joiners, it was pretty affordable per, I did it by, by item. So, um, no, I'm sorry. There are $76, it was $76 to ship, 72. It was something in the seventies. I'll, I'll put a comment like right here, but there's 84 items in here. Um, a lot of them are mine. <laughs> not all of them are for the actual go because I, am a Mercari addict pretty much. They have a lot of stuff for a lot of groups that are not so popular in the United States. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and rip this open. So next time I talk, it will be opened. So this is already something that I'm noticing about the service is that um, some, some of these things you can kind of already tell what they were they are because it's clear, but they individually, um, I'm gonna take this item for instance since you already saw it. They put um, my name and not my full last name and they individually packaged each item. It does not look, I'm guessing that this is not like the plastic wrap that the um, the item, sorry, came into the warehouse. Um, but you can see that this has a top loader, which is a nice size top loader. I'm definitely going to take this top loader. This is actually my friend Camille's order. Um, she collects Tay and I'm definitely going to steal this top loader and give her like a normal size one for him. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of like go through and divide them based on what is the go joiners and what is mine. And I'm going to actually do a live stream on Instagram for the go joiners items and for my <laughs> items, I'll film them here. Sorry, my dog's very active. Mm, I don't remember. That's mine. So true. Um, so this one is a lot of items packaged in one thing. Ooh, I just ripped that entire thing open. Wow. Okay. Um, one, a lot of items packaged in one. So we're going to, some of the bigger items I can tell what's mine and some of them, I don't know. Um, it's really funny. Some of the items that my go joiners joined are actually things like duplicates that I got. So I have to be like, oh, did I get this? Or, or like it's things that I would collect. So I'm like 
Is that mine or is that theirs? So it's a little funny. Okay, um, let's start with this. Okay, okay um, this, this is weird, that's interesting. Okay, fine, um, that's go joiner, go joiner, go joiner, go joiner, go joiner. That was mine, mine, mine. Uh, we'll be super cute there. This one's excited about what we Go joiner, you just okay, mine, mine, go joiner, mine, mine, golf, mine. Okay, this next huge pile. I already know that this is a good one because I do not collect gravity. I do enjoy them, but I just don't collect them. Um, so the go. That's the go. Super Junior is mine. What is this? That's Suju. This is Suju. Go. Mine. Go. Which member? Okay. <laughs> I have to check. I'm so excited for some of these things. Some of these things I am super excited for. They have been in the warehouse for so long. Um, and then some of these things I wish I had gotten. Like this Minghao, I've been looking for it for so long. But the GoJoiner found it before I did. So I'm a little, little upset that I didn't snag it for myself. But this is a really cute Hobie. But... Um... That's the go. This bag is so cute. Um, I think I bought this for myself, maybe. I'll have to check my master list. Suga, I think I bought that for myself as well. Uh, that's mine. Jin, someone else bought, I think. Some of these things I'm definitely going to have to. That's mine. Definitely gonna have to check master list because, um, as you can see, there's a ton of stuff and yeah. After I go live with my go joiners, I can pause, come back, and show you. Oh, they left a note. Show you what the go joiners got, um, just so you're not dying in anticipation. This is a huge order. That's exciting. Um, another huge order. Another. <laughs> this is just in a clear file. That's interesting. And then someone I go actually got a Yungi. He's got a little dent though, right, right up here. A little scratch from transit. But this is the prettiest Yungi premium photo in my opinion. It's so gorgeous. All right, so here is everything sorted. Over here is the stuff for my go joiners. And then over there is the stuff that is mine. Um, I'm gonna go take a break, go live for my go joiners. And then I will come back and go through kind of everything. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be finishing up unboxing everything that I got from Mercari Japan. I already laid out everything that was mine. Um, from the first clip that I actually, it was like yesterday that I filmed it actually. I said that part of the order were personal items and then the other part of the order was group order items. So I went ahead and I already took out the group order items and all that's left are my personal items. With the group order items, it'd be really difficult for me to unbox them. Since most of them came in packaging that was good for shipping out to my group order joiner, so I didn't want to unnecessarily unbox anything. So I'm pretty much only going to be unboxing items that were mine to claim because those were things that are actually needing to be unboxed right now. And as you see, there are a lot of items. I kind of laid them all out. I'm thinking I'm going to go from biggest items to smallest items um, just to kind of clear up some space. So this first item, one thing that I noticed is interesting is that when you unbox things from Neo Kyo is uh, there's not really a surprise in what you get uh, because a lot of things are used in clear packaging. So as you can see, this, you already tell it's Treasure. Um, this is from Treasure's Japanese debut. And if you hear a little bit of background music, I actually have the windows open because it is one of our first super nice days outside in a while. And my fiance actually hates having the air conditioner on if we do not need it on. So I have the windows open. Um, this is the actual CD. That's interesting. The CD is like, you see it that way. Um, I'm pretty excited to actually, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So there's stuff inside of here. Wow. Okay. I did. I knew I ordered the photo cards, but I didn't really know where they were going to be. Um, but it's interesting that this is empty. Usually they at least have the lyrics or something, but, um, I don't know if that's just because that's how it came with the Neokia order or or what. Okay, so we've got some stickers. 
So with treasure, my bias line is Pangiram, um, Haruto, Asai, and Doyoung, which is kind of funny because all of them are in the same uh, like age order. Did I? I ordered all of these things together from the seller. Did I? I don't remember. Um, but this one, I don't know if it's showing in the video, but it's hollow. It's the music art pre-order benefit from chapter two. Um, I treasure you. I already have this card. This I think is, oh, this is just a regular album card. I already have this one. I must have gotten it because it must have come as a, a mandatory set with all of these cards. So this one will be going up for trade and sale. These two are definitely Korean, uh, not Korean, Japanese cards because of the different backs. Yep. Oh, so this one's like kind of hollow. And then um, this one is not. I don't know the version numbers. There's like A, B, and C for Japanese. I don't know which versions these are, but I'm pretty excited to have them. Uh, Yadam is the only one that I'm going to be collecting like Japanese stuff for. I think I purchased... Um, Oh, and then here's a sticker. I think I purchased some acai stuff, um, but I don't think I'm going to collect him because he is really expensive. So here are 2021 New Year's Eve Live and Hype and Postcards. I do not believe this is the full set. I purchased all of the sets for BTS and Hype and, and TXT because those are my main groups that I collect from Big Hit, uh, Hybe, whoever they are now, Hybe, however you pronounce it. Um, but they got lost by DHL and they were not replaceable. So I'm kind of like hunting down the ones that I need again. I already have Sunu. He made it to me because I did a group order and he did not get claimed. So he is with me. So this one's an extra. But these are ones that I needed, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then um, the case. Just put that up there. Okay, so here's another J. I must have purchased the J before I found this set. Um, so I guess he will be going up for claim for sale. It's a nice top loader, though. I always get super excited when I get really nice top loaders in the mail. All right. Here is a... Oh, it's just in like a really flimsy baggie. Um, it is a Block B Japan inclusion photo card. So Block B is one of my ults. I think I've mentioned this already in this video. It's hard to remember since I filmed part of it yesterday. But they are my ult group besides BTS. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that this is a two card set. And this... Actually, these might not have been from their Japan debut because this is the stylings that they used in the Korean album. But anyways, I really love uh, the jackpot stylings. It was one of my favorite debuts for them just because it was so out there. They are such a different group. I don't really... He sung. I already have He sung too. Okay, so I've got a couple of extras from... Wow, I, I've got a ton of extras. Um, but yeah, I already have a He sung. So I'll keep this package just because... I'm going to sell it, but um, anyways, back to Block B, it's another extra. They have so many different concepts out there that it's really nice because um, each comeback, they seem to always do something different, and their music is kind of different also from what a lot of other K-pop groups were doing at the time, um, and they just had their 10th anniversary a couple days ago at the time of filming this. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, so it's just all super exciting to be BBC right now. Um, here are some Rowan Korean album cards that I purchased. He is my ult for SF9, but SF9 in general is slowly becoming one of my ult groups. It's really hard for me to pick ult groups because I like so many groups. But I'm really getting into F SF9. Oh my goodness, right now. This one is from Feeling Sensation. from the temptation version of Narcissus, right? And then this is Sensuous. His selfie cards are some of my favorite selfie cards. And then this is the concept card. His selfie cards are so amazing. 
They're just always super cute all the time. These are pre-order benefit cards for a special history book. They are from, as you notice, because it's written in Chinese, they are from with fans, um, Yiziu. I do not know how to pronounce that with the Chinese, but they are, they are, uh, well, this one at least is a with fans card. This one is also with fans and this one, I think is a different pre-order benefit. I'll have to check my template, but I will let you know down here what which one it is. Oh my God, I just realized that it was backwards. But yeah, the one thing that got me with these cards um, is he makes the same pose in so many of these cards. So it's really hard to tell what is what and what he is doing. All of the um, photo cards, I think I will lay them out right here. That way you can kind of like see them. So we'll just lay them out, maybe. I don't know, right now it's like the Rowan show. All of the bigger items, I'm just gonna keep to the side because I feel like those will really take up a ton of space super, super quickly. I don't know, these photo cards are taking up a ton of space. I guess as I open more stuff, more space will open up, so. Okay, anyways, um, okay, another SF9. Can this one just peel off really easily? Yeah, I can. Perfect. SF9 is currently on Kingdom, which I'm very excited about because I feel like they don't get a ton of exposure to a lot of K-pop fans, which is kind of sad because they are a really, really good group. Um, all of them, like, like all the people in Kingdom have mentioned, they all look like supermodels. Like, they are probably one of the prettiest groups, but their music is also super good. This is RPM. Both of them are. Um, which the lead single on RPM was RPM. Uh, another good one. I definitely would 100% recommend listening to their discography because it always just makes me so happy whenever I listen to their music. I will sit at my office at work and just like listen <laughs> and just keep it on shuffle and it never really gets old. This is a light stick PC. I do not own their light stick. Just because I'm not going to concerts right now. So I don't have too many lights. I only have a couple. But you can see the design of the light stick right here, which is super cute. But if concerts ever happen again, I will probably end up going to concerts and therefore buying light sticks right now i just have i have two bts ones just because it's the army bomb i don't know i just feel like i have to own those and i have txt and i got in hypens just because i wanted the photo cards so this is from the mustard dvd i am collecting all of the hyungs for these so it's really nice when i can get a good set on mercari for a decent price because otherwise um, you either like buy them for $30 in America or you join a group order where they are underpriced and the magnets are overpriced, which is member pricing, which I'm not a fan of. So it's just really difficult sometimes. Um, it works out for me as a young line collector, but it's still disappointing because I am OT7 biased. Sorry, I did not realize I was out of frame opening this. Um, so it's just like really upsetting because sometimes you feel like they're not getting the same amount of appreciation just because of the price difference with their cards. I wonder what that means. Um, so it gets a little frustrating. Like it's good for my wallet, but I don't know. Personally, I just feel like it's not fair because if, if uh, Jungkook and Tae and Jimin weren't so expect expensive, I would collect OT7 for them for more things rather than just only for album cards. But because they are so expensive, it does not make sense financially to collect them. Um, so this is an Acai YG Select pre-order benefit from their full album. YG benefits really are some of the most interesting benefits because each time they have such an odd shaped benefit or something that's like completely different and not really like <laughs> what I am expecting it to be. Um, they're so cute and I still buy them. 
but it's still it's it's not what not what I expect all the time. So you can see through this one what it is. It is Yungi's four by six photo. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess we're just gonna rip it open. Oh, they taped it on the side. Okay, maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna rip it. Um, Yungi's four by six photo from their season's greeting. I already have RM. I pulled RM and then. I joined a go to get another 4x6 member and I got RM in the go as well. So I traded him um, and I got Hobie. And so now I, ha I have Yungi. So the final one that I need is Jin to get all four Hungline members, which is very exciting. This one literally came in the box like this, which was super interesting because <laughs> it's not what I expected to get in a box from Japan, but it's just Heechul's most recent Suju Secret Seasons greetings inclusions. So here's his photo card. We'll add him to the pile down there. Another photo card, just put him here. Some stickers, so they cut out his stickers. Oh, okay, so his month was last month. That's nice. Um, some kind of certificate thing. And then this giant postcard of him. Not postcard, I'm sorry, this is like an A4 poster. Um, but I will put this to the top just because it is way too big to display and I'm going to clear up some of, okay. I've got like two more big things. This one is block B. I'm super excited for this one because, uh, like I've said, block B is amazing. One of my ults. I never get tired of ordering block B stuff on the internet. They are one of the groups that I will collect literally anything for. I do not collect everything for all of my groups. I mostly only collect photo cards. But when it comes to Block B, if it has Block B on it, I want it. So, okay, let's put this right here. This is a magazine, um, Japan debut first anniversary. Oh, this is cute. Okay, Zico is my ult, ult, ult bias. Yukon is my bias wrecker. Oh, and okay, so it's got, uh, Pio is the cutest. It's got their role right here. I guess they did a questionnaire. <laughs> I always love how they tell you like their height and weight. That's so funny. B-bomb. His stage name always makes me laugh. Tail, our cute young. Uh, J-O in shorts, that. That kills me. Park Kyung, he is hysterical. I love Kyung. Um, I wonder if there is a fan translation anywhere. That would be super nice. Oh, okay, so these are all photos taken by the different members. <laughs> I love how Zico's photos are just like blurry of Tail and Pio. That is so funny and then all oh, with the jerseys on okay this is cute this is cute okay that's adorable um let's see what else we have here oh okay these two things are stuck together um oh my gosh okay this is just a cd but i don't know if anything is inside of the cd so we will check This is their her Japanese, um, I think normal version. I, I don't remember, but this was the second single that they released in Japan. Um, oh, okay. So that is the, the thing that like goes like that. Okay. Um, with some of these, they did come with photo cards. I know for a fact that this is just the CD because um the listing only had it as a cd and i have most of their photo cards anyway so i wasn't looking for photo cards but i do collect their entire discography so japan releases and everything else oh oh no okay um i'll take this pesky piece of tape off i don't know what this is it looks like photos and stuff I just saw that it was blocky and I was like, mm, click, buy, gotta do it, gotta have it. Oh, this is kind of 
kind of cute. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go with this first. Happy New Year. Aww. Okay. That's cute. So that's their logo, and it says Happy New Year hidden under the center of the bee. That's adorable. Okay, so this is another one from, this is actually from their Japan debut. So this is what the Japan styling for um, Jackpot looked like, not Jackpot, I'm sorry, uh, Very Good looked like. So those are the outfits they wore. These are from Her, so these are some promotional photos from their Her release. So this is Zico, Park Kyung, and then Pio. Um, some of you guys, if you're not familiar with Block B, if you've watched Hotel Del Luna with IU in it, he was the bellhop boy. So you might recognize him. He's also been in a lot of other dramas and he's a radio show host and stuff. So he's, he's pretty active, even though Block B is kind of on hiatus right now because most of their members are in the military. And these are also from her promotions. These are like different promotional photos. So these are kind of from like their comeback live stage. Um, these were Tower Records ones. So this is B-Bomb. Zico again. I think I already have this one. This is P.O. And then this is J-Ho. J-Ho is also doing a lot of announcing and hosting of things right now. Okay, so we're gonna go with the postcards that are up here now. Um, her. Okay, so this is another Block B. It's from her. So this one is goes with the same set that I just showed you guys. Well, not not the same set, but from the same comeback. This is Yuquan. Um, like I said, he's my bias wrecker. He is, like, a vocal, but he also dances. He's, like, one of the main dancers. He and B-Bomb are, like, the dancers of the group. Um, but Block B are not dancers. It is a known fact within the fandom that Block B is, like, probably the worst dancing K-pop group. And the fans will not take offense if you tell them that. Um, Block B themselves would admit to it. Okay. So this one is from Very Good. So this is from their debut. I have some of the solo members, but I didn't have this group one. So obviously I wanted the group because they are so cute. One thing that's really interesting about Blocky is they did a lot more releases of things kind of like this with their Japan comebacks. Like Very Good and Her and um, Yesterday, like uh, My Zone. They did so many releases of, like, paper goods and merchandise in Japan. Okay, so these are photo cards. We'll do photo cards last just because, I don't know, I love photo cards. Okay, um, okay, so here's a BTS one finally. Finally got to a BTS one. It's Jin. Jin is my number two man in BTS. Yoongi is number one, Jin is number two, the rest of them are number three. <laughs> um... I don't know, there's just like, he always makes me happy, you know? He's kind of like infectious with, okay, this is nice, okay. He's kind of like infectious with how funny he is all the time and like when In The Soup came out uh, during like the hardest part of quarantine and staying at home, it was just nice to watch him take the yoga mat and just hit the punching bag. It was fantastic. So this is yesterday. This is one of the Japanese comebacks that I was talking about for Block B. This is Kyung. It is his um, like CD insert card thing. I really like this comeback because it was very colorful, which is something that Block B, I mean, they're pretty colorful, but I don't know. The colors in that one specifically really spoke to me. This is the 20... 2020 maybe, I hope. Yeah, 2020 Seasons Greetings Lenti. I have Yoongi, and I wanted another one so that Yoongi's was not alone on the page. And so I decided that since Jin is my number two guy, I decided I was gonna get Jin's. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. One thing I've noticed about Mercari sellers is they do not believe in trimming away excess paper and plastic. So here's the Lenti, and then it came with the little ID, which is pretty cute. Here's another su Suju. It's from their Elf 2020 fan club kit, because Elf is their fan club. Um, I just wanted it because, first of all, I love Peachel. Knowing Bros is one of my favorite Korean shows, and he is my favorite. Well, okay, I love all of them on Knowing Bros, but I don't know. I think he's the funniest, and I love Suju, um, but his selfies really speak to me on in 
intellectual level. Not really, not really intellectual, I guess. I don't know what word to use there, but I'm going with intellectual. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Open. Okay, we're just gonna kind of rip it. Oh, oh my gosh, I just ripped the entire, okay, whatever. It went, it went, that worked. I'm just gonna put that over here. And the thing that kills me is these selfies look like almost the same, but they're different. These are different photo cards, but they look almost the same. So, oh, I ruined my stack. I ruined my pile. Okay, there's there's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't really know. I'll make it look nice. And then this is him being a cutie. I'll make it look nice at the end when, I don't know, I have more unboxed. But there's a lot right now. There's just a ton. Here's Treasure. These are the K-Town for you pre-order benefits. I did not get mine from K-Town because I didn't realize I wanted it until after the pre-order period had ended. But these are them. It's Bang Ye Dam again. So that's from their 2020 welcoming kit, which is I guess what they call their season's greetings for new groups at YG. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what YG does. YG does what YG wants. Here's another Heechul. Yeah, like I said, his his photo cards really just, they just speak to me. They uh, really are some of the cutest, but also funniest. Oh, here's another Suju. Oh, oh my God. Okay. It's always the struggle trying to figure out how to open these without damaging anything. Cause I never know. Okay. Uh, okay, so I want to go on the bottom too. Oh my gosh. And then just thinking about putting all of these things away into my binder kind of makes me hurt a little bit because I got so many things. It's going to take me forever. This is another elf one. So this is another one of their fan club cards. But yeah, thinking about putting all this stuff away into my binder kind of makes me hurt. Okay, I realized that I had this other big thing over here to the side that I did not get to. So it is, I believe, the last Block B thing that I ordered. It is a clear file and a CD. I collect their Japanese discography, so I've been kind of just like, when I see their albums for a good price, I'll just buy it. I guess I'm just ripping this open, okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Um, and this was like 300 yen, so it was like a really good price because, I mean, oh, and it's unopened. I guess another thing that was really exciting for me, because, um, most Blocky uh, Japan albums, they already come opened, so to be able to, like, open this myself was something that was kind of super exciting. I have not unboxed one of these on my own yet, so I am super excited to kind of just, like, open it on my own. I mean, this isn't one that comes with a photo card or anything, but I don't know, it's always just exciting. Even even if nothing comes inside, it's kind of like <laughs> kind of like the old days when I bought albums that did not come with photo cards and stuff and I just bought like Taylor Swift albums and I would <laughs> open them. I would get really excited to read the lyric messages that she put in all of her albums. Cause that was something that I definitely did because I love Taylor Swift so much. They're so cute. I really loved Zico's hairstyle in this comeback. And then Taylor's always just so adorable, especially with his giant glasses. And it's just the song yesterday, Japanese version. It's a very catchy song, um, kind of a departure for them. I think a lot of people didn't like it, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh no, oh, it's scratched on the back. There's like a scratch right there. That's okay though, I, it's okay. Um, I don't remember if a lot of people liked it or not, but I like it. And that's, in my opinion, what matters to me is that I like it. And then um, a clear file folder. Zika looks so cute. I have a bunch of these, but I never know what to do with them. So I don't know what to do with this one, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Okay. Um, 
let's let's go with let's go with okay i already you already you already see what this is so this is a gin wings tour card i don't know if i'm gonna collect all of these but he is super cute i love him so i might this one itself i love because of his pouty lips so i really wanted it and sometimes that's the nature of uh nature of capitalism baby you see it you want it like what ariana grande says except she has more money in that song than i do so not the same but um maybe i can believe in myself maybe i can believe in myself that it is the same the tour cards for wings were really interesting because they are like they feel like cardstock cardboard card something when all of the new ones are like glossy and nice um, the older ones also felt the same. So it's just really interesting to kind of see the way that Big Hit has changed their merchandise over time. So this is, I don't, I don't know if this is the last. No, this is not. I have one. I have at least one more. This is another Heechel. Him as a blonde, which he was blonde within the past year on Knowing Rose, I believe. So not like a different look for him, but... It's a pretty good look. Um, this one I was really excited to find at a decent price because it is from SF9's virtual play album kit thing, which is literally just like a VR experience for you to be in the music video with SF9. Um, and if you buy the kit, it comes with like a VR stand for your phone and then access to videos to be able to like interact and watch. And um, it was cool and everything, but I just couldn't see myself using it. So I didn't order one, but I, I wanted the photo card because he looks the same as all of his other photo cards, but I don't know why, but I, I, just, I just want all the things with his face on it. Um, so for TXT, I collect two members for all of their Korean for their Korean cards. I collect Subin and Yeonjun, which happen to be the hardest members to collect, but I just love them so much. Um, they, oh, oh, there's two cards in here. Okay, that's exciting. I knew I ordered two, but I didn't realize that they were both in the same top letter. Okay, but um, yeah, I love all of the members though. Um, it, I always get bias wrecked by them so hard, but I do not want to collect OT5 because I know I can see myself easily falling into that trap because for this most recent comeback, I did collect OT5 photo cards and it, was, it wasn't it was necessarily hard, but it was expensive. So I do not want to collect all of the members even though I love all of them. If things come in OT5 sets, I always keep the OT5 set because it's so hard for me to get rid of any one of the members, but I do not want to collect an entire group. This is the With Fans pre-order benefit for round two, I believe. I really like these because they are really polo looking, pola, oh my gosh, Polaroid looking. And it's got like such an interesting texture where this is matte, but then this is like a glossy feel. So it actually kind of feels like a real Polaroid. And then I thought the back was like one of the cutest cars that they've done for the back. Um. I think I mentioned it before when I was originally unboxing everything out of the box, but I do not collect Pentagon, but for this comeback, I loved it so much that I really wanted to collect them. And in my binder, I really like it when I have like nine cards filling up a page if I can. So I decided to get some pre-order benefits from this comeback and oh my gosh. Um, make star ones are super cute because of the hollow. Um, and Yuto is my bias for Pentagon. I just love him so much. So I decided that there was going to be a couple of pre-order benefits from this comeback that I was going to collect along with the album cards. Um, and so that's one of them, the make star one. And then this Yungi I'm really excited about because blue hair Yungi is superior Yungi in my opinion. We love mint Yungi. But um, it is from their Memories of 2017, which is a pretty expensive card, actually. But I got this one for a pretty decent price, which I was really excited for because this one particularly is pretty popular. But um, he's just so cute. And 
I love the her comeback concept. I loved everything about it because it was kind of like just so soft and the colors were so bright. And the DNA music video is still one of my favorite music videos that I still go back to and I will watch it. Oh my gosh, look at how much space I just freed up. I will still go back and I will watch it like all the time. So it's just pretty exciting. Um, as you can see, these are Luna. It's like a thick thing of Luna cards. So I collect Gowan for Luna. These are different seasons, greetings, and things like that. Um, so this is like meet and you cards. I think I got the whole set for these. Um, I really like getting her cards when I see them in sets. Um, this was an Orbit Kit card. So I really like getting her cards when I see them in sets because that just makes it so easy. And then I think these one, yeah, because it's five of them. These ones are the Seasons Greetings from last year maybe because I think last year was their first Seasons Greetings. I can't remember. But for a lot of the people that I collect, I only collect selfie cards outside of their album cards most of the time so if you notice a lot of the cards that I get they are not concept cards they are selfie cards just because that is my personal preference that's what I think is cuter and that's what I think is cuter and that's what I prefer to kind of spend my money on so that's like one thing that I've come to accept with my collection is that I don't have to have every single thing by my biases or by an idol that I collect I this is interesting, it's literally just like plastic. I only need to get what I want and what I like. So here's Young Sub from P1 Harmony. This is an album card because it's got this writing on the back. Here's the front. And then this is, I believe, one of the K-Town pre-order cards. Pretty sure, yeah. Because there's another one of him in this outfit but he's going like this on the side of his face and that's with fans. But he's my P1 Harmony bias. He's super adorable. He's, like, so much younger than me. Like, 10 years, 12, 12 years. I don't know how I don't know how much younger than he, me he is. He's really young, but he's so cute. And I loved him on YG Treasure Box. But, um, I don't know. YG Treasure Box did some people dirty, in my opinion. But he still debuted, and P1 Harmony is a great group. I'm really excited for their comeback that's going to be happening soon. So I'm very excited. I already have these IU cards. They are from her Love po Love Poem Tour DVD. When I got the DVD though, I got it from a US store and I didn't think that these cards were gonna come with the DVD. So I went ahead and I got these because they also came, like this came as a full set. So we went ahead and got them, but the DVD that I got came with the cards. So now I have an extra set, which is kind of nice because that means I can like trade them away for something else. And someone who wasn't able to get her cards can now have them, which is always super exciting. So this is her celebrity MD photo card set. Made Adam, I did not have notifications turned on from when they post things. I'm gonna try and open this so it's like nice. Did not have notifications on for when they post things, so I missed the drop for this. And of course, since IU is freakishly popular, which of course she should be, she is, okay, that did pretty nicely. Of course she should be, she is like a queen in my opinion. Of course they sold out, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, this is so cute with like, um, and Celebrity was such a good song. I really love the music video and she doesn't really do a lot of dances with her stuff But she did in this video, which I thought was super cute uh, Okay, and this is like brand new so they came in the packaging And so it's got some concept cards and some selfie cards, which obviously I'm gonna keep all of them But I'm like I said, I'm more excited for the selfie cards than anything else because I love selfies so much but these are all kind of like photo stills from the uh, music video. And all of them have the same back, kind of similar to what the tin had, but they're a peach color. 
this dress was so pretty when it was put into her, um, the promo shots. I was like, oh my god, girl, yes, get it, kill it. There is nothing, in my opinion, that, like, she puts out that is not good. Okay, and then these are so adorable. She is definitely my ult female bias, which is really interesting because she's, she is K-pop, I suppose, but she is kind of like also outside the, outside the realm of what K-pop does. So, I don't know, it's just really interesting to like call her an ult bias, but she is, I just love her so much. I'll go ahead and do this and get it out of the way. It's BTS postcards. Oh my goodness. Nah. Okay, okay, let's get out. Oh, 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 oh. I hate plastic wrap. Oh my god. Ah! No! I tried to save plastic wrap so I can- Oh my god, I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, they tightened it. Okay. I try to save plastic wrap so that I can reuse it because I do a ton of group orders and I do not want to be spending my money on plastic wrap if I get a ton of it like this. Oh, free. Free is my best friend because obviously I need some stuff that's free if I'm spending all of my money like this. No, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna reorganize all of those at the end. Okay, so here's BTS. This is not a full set because obviously you saw me buy a Jin one a minute ago. So obviously this is not a full set. I already have Nam Junes because he was unclaimed in my go. I don't remember what members are in here. Hopefully it's the rest of the members that I need. Okay, so full group. Nam June, like I said, I already have him. Okay, so an extra Jin. Yoongi. Hobi. Chimin. Tay. Oh, this is a full set. Okay. And Shungguk. And this is what the back looks like. I think you already saw those, but yeah. Okay, well, that's exciting. That means I don't have to worry about tracking down any more of those. And I can focus on finding the rest of the treasure. Oh, not treasure. Oh my god. No, it's just some opening treasure. Focus on finding the rest of the Enhypen ones that I need. So this is a collab PC that Treasure did with Manyo. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know what it is, but it had his face on it. So I wanted it. So I got it. Um, but here's another Pangidam card. We are like nearing the home stretch finally after like a million minutes. Um, this is gonna be a super long video. I don't even know. This will be like one of my first videos. I don't even know anymore if YouTube has like a upload limit. Like if you have to work your way up to long videos. I don't even know how YouTube works anymore because the last time I was uploading videos to YouTube was like 2008, only a couple of years after YouTube opened. This is Asai's little card from the Treasure Welcoming Kit Kino, well kit version. I did not get the Kino because I did not want to spend money on the Kino, but I wanted this, especially since I have Yedam's because I purchased his from an American seller. And so I figured Yedam needs a buddy, so might as well, might as well get a match. And that'll fill a spot, empty spot in my binder super, super, super nicely, which is always exciting. They sent a little cute card. These are the magnets for the B pre-order, BSN, Central Edition pre-order from Japan. They are so small, but so cute. Um, a lot of people were like surprised by how big they were. They thought they were going to be bigger. But I have no issue with how, how large they are because they will fit really nicely. I have like a magnetic section above my desk at work. And these will fit super perfectly, kind of like up there and... It'll work out great for me. This is kind of hard to see. Um, oh, here we go. Kind of, kind of, here we go. Um, but it is Nam June's film. I'm not gonna take it out of the thing. Um, oh, I had it backwards. I'm not gonna take it out because um, I put Yoongi's, I have Yoongi's, I put his in the packaging inside of my binder. So I'm gonna do the same with June's. But this was at a really good price, and I think it actually came with the PC, which is probably somewhere over my pile. But it came at a really good price, so I went ahead and got it so that Yoongi's would not be alone. Here's more P1 Harmony. I got their album, but when I unboxed it, I did not 
it only came with one card, first of all, and there's two member cards. And I pulled, who did I pull? Was it Soul? No, I pulled Theo. I pulled Theo. And I traded and I got the other, got the other album card that I needed. But I did not pre-order it just because I, at the, at the time, I think there was other comebacks happening. This is a K-Town for you pre-order card. Um, I did not pre-order it, so I missed out on all the POBs. And so I went ahead and I'm just like kind of buying back what I missed, I guess you could say. So here's another treasure card. This is from their Japanese album. As you can see, it's Asai. I know I said I was only going to collect Yedam, but Asai is super cute. And since this is their first comeback in Japan and he is Japanese, I figured might as well. Um, so this one is a, a benefit card. Um, this one's an HMV benefit card, so that's why it's got like a ticket on the back. But he just looks so good right here that I was like, okay. And it came as a set. And then here's the other hollow one. This is getting ridiculous. I'm almost done though, thankfully. Um, this is like a little mini photo. I did not know, did not know what it's from. I have zero idea, but I bought it because it was cute. And obviously it was a reasonable price. Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. But it's Yukon from Block B. Um, like I said before, he's my bias wrecker, and I will collect anything that is Block B related. So I figured might as well. When I got this, I forgot. I forgot that it was more than one. So I got four of the same. But they are Rowan concept cards. So these are the concept cards, which is kind of annoying because the photo cards are obviously normal sized. And then for the concept cards, they did like these giant postcard things. And I had forgotten that when I got these, but I was like, oh, they're a decent price. So I'll go ahead and get them. And I never pull him. So I just buy them and then it's okay, I guess. But yeah, I never pull him, which is really annoying because then I have to trade for him and he's kind of popular. Okay, so here is a stuck. Okay. Here is a, another Hechul card. I really love the glasses on this one. This is from uh, Play, their Play album. But yeah, I loved his glasses on this album card. I just thought that they were so cute. His cards are just, I don't know, they're kind of funny. Some of, some of the selfies that he takes are kind of funny, but they're also cute at the same time. I don't know. Um, this is stuck. I'm gonna pull my name off so you guys don't see that okay this is a messima pre-order fan sign whatever you classified the messima ones as card for an hypen is he sung um i am collecting ot7 for these i have pretty much all of the members except for sunghoon and sunu so those are the last two that i need so i've been like kind of scouring mercari looking for them but Mesima took the longest time to get these out to people, especially people in the United States. So a lot of people who like order these cards have not gotten them yet. I only just recently got the first two that I've ordered from a go. And so it's just taken a million years for them to arrive. Here's more Pentagon. This is the K-Town For You benefit card. And these are super, super cute. Just the entire concept. The main reason why I decided for this comeback that I wanted to collect Pentagon is because, first of all, the album itself, the music on the album is amazing. It's one of my top albums of the year. Um, and then it's webtoon manga themed for the album artwork. And I am an addict for webtoons and mangas. And so I thought it mixes K-pop with another thing that I'm addicted to, plus the music is phenomenal. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and collect them for this and support them for this comeback. This is more Junk Sob from P1 Harmony. These are their fan sign merchandise from the FNC store, I believe, cards. I think they're from the FNC. Okay, these are, these are kind of stuck in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, they're stuck in here a little bit. Um, okay, smaller ones can come out. So, like a little ID photo. 
So here's a, this is the Pola version. I'm just gonna start piling everything on top of each other. This is the, I don't know. I don't remember if this goes with the Pola version or not. I don't remember. But it had a Pola and a selfie version. So this is the selfie. Okay, I think that was the Pola version and this is the selfie version. But they're super cute. And it came as a full set. And I was like, of course, of course I want that because it's a full set, it's reasonably priced. So I'm going to get it. Okay. Here's another BTS memories. Like I said, I'm collecting all the things for these. And when I see them at a decent price, I'm going to get it, especially when it is Jin. He, uh, the, the, I was going to say Bambi. Oh my goodness. The Dumbo was just so cute. I just... I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this in the sleeve because this is a quality sleeve, and I won't have to re-sleeve that. Oof! Looking at this is making my wallet hurt. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, we have another Subin. This is the final Subin that I needed to complete my Korean album card collection for Subin. So always hate doing this I try to avoid using my knife because I'm always scared that I'm gonna like nick the card but this is the last one that I needed and the um these cards are really hard okay I, I opened it off camera these cards are really hard to come by because they were super popular the um the black ones plus like his face and like the little pose he's doing I love it and then here's the back Okay, looks like I have two things left. I'm super, super excited because this has taken forever to film. This is Super Junior. It is another Heechul. Obviously, he's the only Super Junior member I collect. Um, I don't remember how many cards are in here. One, there was one card in here, but it is a fortune card. Yeah, and it's another selfie. Okay, final card. Are we ready? I'm ready. It is Jin. Oh my god. <laughs> Final card. It's Nam June. <laughs> Why did I say Jin? It's this has gotten to me. This has gotten to me. Um for this set, I have Jin. I pulled him. And I have Hobie. And I have Jin. Oh my god, I said Jin already. I have Tay. I have Tay. He's the other member I have. And so I still need Yoongi to finish the Hungs. Hyungs. Oh, they didn't put him in a sleeve. Oh, I hate it when there's no sleeve. It always makes me so nervous. But I really liked how they did the double-sided concept. This cutest thing ever. Like the little flame candle. Also super cute. Like the entire winter package was such a cute thing. Um especially because of the pouch that they did. It was just immaculate. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange the cards and I will be right back. Thank you everyone for watching with me as I opened up this giant package. I'm literally holding my phone up because um, I could not fit everything on one. It was just way too much. I just could not fit everything. But thank you for watching with me. Um, I do monthly goes for Neo Kyo. Next time it will not be this big at all because this is ridiculous. But next time I will do another haul video when I order everything. And thank you for watching.